Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Omni Viewer, and I'm here with another update for Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019. It appears that Vera Farmiga has revealed some details about her character in the upcoming film. This information comes to us from an interview with Metro US. According to Farmiga, her character, Dr. Emma Russell, is a paleobiologist. More specifically, she, quote, figured out a way to communicate with the creatures and potentially control them using their bioacoustics on a sonar level, unquote. So, that's kind of an interesting detail. Almost reminds me of the Godzilla signal from the old Hanna-Barbera cartoon. You know, you push the button and it sends out the sound that brings in Godzilla. Now, of course, this being a Godzilla film, I don't expect for a second that it's going to work, or at least that it's not going to have any sort of long-lasting effect. But it does provide a way to intertwine the human story with the monster story, which is more important than you might think. I know the perception for a lot of people, especially outside the fandom, is that Godzilla movies have the monster plot and the human plot be separate. The monster plot is what you came for, and the human plot is gravy. It's the stuff that you just sit through and check your watch during in between monster fights. Now, I'm not saying there aren't quite a few kaiju movies like that. I mean, there are, after all. But the best examples of the genre are the ones that interlace those stories. See any one of the films I listed on my Best Kaiju Movies Ever video for examples of what I'm talking about. She also says the film is kind of an environmental parable. That, of course, is the subtext that leapt out to her from the script. And that would be in line with the previous two MonsterVerse films. Heck, what was the one thing Dr. Sarazawa kept saying in Godzilla 2014? Nature has an order. It must restore balance. All of that stuff. So clearly that theme is being carried over. And of course, this information is coming to us right before Comic-Con, where we have officially gotten confirmation that Godzilla King of the Monsters will be featured on a panel. And unfortunately, no, I can't make it there, but hopefully whatever gets revealed makes its way online and I can report on it anyway. So, there you have it. Latest news for Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019. You're free to share your thoughts on this development in the comment section below. Until such time as we meet again, this is the Omni Viewer signing off.